What's up, everybody? It's Mikel Casanova, Hawaii's favorite YouTuber and the host of the number one podcast in the state of Hawaii that you should be listening to, the Mikel Casanova Podcast. I'm back with another video, and honestly, I've been sitting on this product for about a week now. Um, a lot of people may assume that, oh, you got a crappy, you know, classic console. I just got it because I'm, I, I like collecting things like this. This is, you know, something that I enjoy, whether you like it or not, or if you want or don't want to buy it, that's your prerogative. But I enjoy it. I'm never going to tell someone what they should do with their money. Um, but for me, this is cool. I enjoy it. Um, I'm going to be doing an unboxing of this and like I said I've sat on it for a week just because I've been so busy with so many other projects I haven't had the time to get around to unboxing this just like I haven't had the time to get around to unboxing my Valkyria Chronicles 4 collector's edition but now that I have it I'm gonna unbox this and I'm also gonna show you guys how to hack it or actually hacking should be a, that's a bad word to say I'm gonna show you guys how to add more games to the PlayStation Classic in case you picked it up and you want more of this on it, and how you can change things around to add on like stuff like uh, if you wanna change it from PAL to NTSC, you know, stuff like that. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the video. Okay, as you guys can see, I've got the PlayStation Classic here and uh, a couple of my other classic consoles. I got the SNES Classic, the NES Classic, and I also have the Neo Geo Mini. I just don't have it set up over here. But here's the PlayStation Classic. We're going to do a quick unboxing of it. You know, I got my knife so I can go ahead and cut this open in case I need to. And let's see. So you see right here, some slits. Okay, so it unfolds like that. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. It's amazing how this, uh, this little thing, it's 100 bucks, but you got a lot of people on Craigslist actually trying to inflate the price of it. So I've seen this going for like $180, $200 or more. Uh, like I said, it's a prerogative of the person if they want to purchase it for that price. Uh, I'm good with retail value. All right. So we got the manual here. This takes me back. <laughs> this definitely takes me back. Uh, that's that's similar to what the old manual used to be. Uh, let's go ahead. What do we need to do? I guess I can't pull it out that way. Okay. Yo, this thing is super light. Like, if I were to put this in comparison to the other consoles, let me get it on out the packaging. So, PlayStation Classic, SES Classic, right? This is a little bit heavier than this one. Of course, this is going to be a little bit heavier because of these, but uh, yeah, as you can see in the classic comparison, nothing wrong with that. So USB inputs, fake memory card ports, power, reset, open, we're changing discs. Non-openable expansion bay, which was never used, HDMI out, and micro USB port here. So yeah, let's see what all else comes in the box. Let me get this out of the way. Standard HDMI cables and your micro USB and two classic PlayStation controllers, which uh, they don't feel exactly like what the originals did. They, they feel a little bit smaller. Could be me, 
or forgetting what they felt like, but it does feel a bit different than the original did, but uh, I mean, it still feels, it feels good in the hand. I, I can't complain. It definitely feels, uh, feels solid. It feels, it does feel like it could be easily breakable. Uh, I will admit that, but hey, then you got the USB ports on the end, so you know, if you plug it in, then uh, you plug it in like so. Hey. And you get two of them, so that's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and get to uh, the second part of this video, which would be adding more games to it, because uh, I'll be honest, I'm not really too crazy about all the games that are on here. There are a lot of classics I would like to have on it, and I'm gonna go ahead and add to it, because why not? So, PlayStation Classic, right? This custom USB I have. And I got Rivals. All right, so what's up everyone? We're gonna go ahead and show you how you can add more games to your PlayStation Classic. Uh, for a hundred bucks, there's not a lot of good games on here. Uh, some are good, many are not really good. But I'm gonna show you a couple things that you can do to add on new games now. You're gonna do this at your own risk. There's a possibility that you can break your console by doing this, but uh, do this at your own discretion. I'm not liable for if you mess up any of the steps here. And uh, Hopefully you get this uh, going as best you can. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm going to show you right now what it's like already uh, done. So if I were to pick a game, so like pick Intelligent Cube, right? So I'm going to pick that. So while this is loading, I'm going to hold down Select and press Triangle, which will pull up this menu here. I can go to PC, SX menu, go to Load CD Image, as you can see, you're going to be here and you want to go to media and then you want to go to games and then you want to select file 21. And then from here, you want to select what game you want to play. So I mean, as you can see, I have Castlevania Chronicles, Urguys, Fatal Fury, Rival Schools, Soul Blade, Street Fighter X Plus. Uh, you can add as many games as you can on your flash drive. Now, to give you an example of it working, so you guys know I'm not BSing you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play some Rival School. So uh, you're going to press right when you select it, whatever file you have, and then just go ahead and press X. As you'll see, it's going to soft reboot and start loading the process. And uh, yeah, this is, uh, you, you're about to see more games being playable on your PlayStation Classic. So as you can see here, it's uh, no file found for you know, uh, back when they used to have the cards and whatnot so it didn't find the data because well, I mean I haven't really played it much but now it's loading you can skip to the main menu if you want here we have Rival Schools United by Fate so you just press the start button and then you can just go ahead and play however you want See, works perfectly fine. You know, this is, I'd say it's playing pretty good. Now, I definitely want to be able to show you guys Round one. this is playing. Point. I just got wrecked. So as you guys can see, now also if you want to go back and pick another game, uh, same method, hold down select, press triangle, go to exit, now you can also do it while in the game, so you can, you can do whatever you want to do here, uh, again, pick, go in a game, as it's loading here, select triangle, PCSX, menu, load CD image, and then pick whatever game you want. So say I want to play some Street Fighter EX Plus. So I'm going to go ahead and load it up. And then it's going to go ahead and start its loading process. So 
So now that it's loading. I don't miss the days back when we had all this loading. Round one. Fight. I'm walking. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and download Notepad++. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below for you to be able to get this. Uh, you're also going to want to go to this site here to get the, uh, the ability to add it in. I'll leave this in. So once you download it, you can either clone or download it, either or. And then once you have it downloaded, when you get this file initially, it's going to pop up like this. So when you open it, make sure you have a WinRare, and, you know, you're going to have these files here. Now once you, you know, you unzip it, you can right click and extract it to wherever you want. I have mine on the desktop for a second. For a reason. So you're going to open this file and you're going to see these, right? First thing you're going to want to do is go into LOL hack and you're going to see the LOL hack.sh. So you're going to want to right click on this and select edit with notepad plus plus. Now that you've done that, you're going to see this line of code here and you don't even have to really worry about all this information. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this, which is not on here. I'm going to leave this in the description of the video. You're going to want to take this set of code. Now you can have this up. Uh, you can just copy this straight from the video, but you're going to take this and you're going to paste it over this right here so once you've already once you've copied over all of this and pasted this in it you should have you should have just this now you're gonna click file save okay and then you're gonna close this out and then what you're gonna want to do from here you're gonna want to so now that you have this up the folder games all you're gonna want to do is take whatever game you have you select them and then you're going to, you know, you can easily take a few or a bunch. As you guys see, I have a couple on here like Earth Guys, Fatal Fury, and whatnot. You're going to move these files, which, as you can see, I have .ccd and Q image and all that. You're going to move this file. So Blade, we can use that as an example. I'm going to move that and just paste it here. Now, the reason I'm doing it. And folder by folder you, you don't have to do it this way you can do it however you want I'm doing it this way because I just find it simpler to just have everything compartmentalized so once you have that file in this format or in this folder what you're gonna do from here is just with your USB Drive and you have all this on it from the root you're just gonna plug this into your PlayStation Classic and then and you go back to it you're going to power it off and then power it back on. And then what you'll be able to do from here is, like I said, you can go to any of the games. And then once they load, once it's loading, select triangle, PCXX, min, image, ah, PCS, X menu, load CD image, and then just uh, go to games. 21 and select the game you want to play. And there you go. It's going to load up. Namco. You get the Namco present since we're playing Soul Blade. And select the mode you want to go into. Welcome to the stage of history. Battle 1. 
fight. And as you can see, I'm getting owned here. And that's all you have to do. Now, as long as you got enough space on your uh, USB drive, you can play whatever you want to play. It's that simple. All right, and that wraps up another unboxing and um, unlocking guide, or adding on, hacking, however you want to call it, uh, for the PlayStation Classic. Which you know, I like the little thing. It's it's it brings me back to 1995, honestly, back when I originally had mine. But you know, this is not for everyone. Classic consoles are not for everyone. A lot of people may dislike them, but again, that's the prerogative of the person. I can't tell you what you should and should do with your money. It's just, I enjoy it, I got it, I picked it up, you know, and shout out to Lil Joy for doing that. But with that being said, why don't you guys tell me what you think down in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, you want to see more, definitely make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you check out Hawaii's number one podcast. It's a podcast you should be listening to, the Mikhail Castle Podcast. It's a, it's a platform where I interview voice actors, other YouTubers, tech people, and more. So if you have questions and you want those to be answered by your favorite content creators and voice actors, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Shoot me a message either on here or on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook. Facebook, and I'll be sure to ask them on the next episode of the podcast. So with that being said, deuces wild, too sweet, be the elite, and I'll see you on the next one.